Thank you, Tim. We continue working developing news out of Burraville, where a veteran firefighter has died after collapsing while battling a fire. And tonight we're learning more about the victim and his long history with the department. Officials wrapping up a news conference just a short time ago. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen was there. He joins us now with the very latest. Steve. That's right. Less than an hour ago, the Pasco Fire Department releasing the name of the firefighter who died this morning, Lieutenant Richard Jenks. It's someone they have known well for decades. Very good guy. For 33 years, 72 year old Lieutenant Richard Jenks has suited up as a volunteer Pasco firefighter. This chimney fire Wednesday morning would be his last. When you leave, you give all. And this is a perfect example of giving all. The deputy fire chief says as Jenks entered the home with his fellow firefighters, he started to struggle. He came out, somebody picked him up, said, You all right? And he said, um, No, I want to continue to fight the fire. And they brought him down to the end of the road here. And um, that is where he collapsed. After CPR, he was rushed to the hospital where he died. The fire was in the chimney of the home. Nine departments responded because there's no fire hydrants here. The fire marshal says the chimney is used a lot. There were flames inside going up the chimney because of the buildup, the creosalt. And this firefighter was one of the ones that was actively trying to put it out. The fire was put out in just an hour. After, our cameras captured his first responders, helmets off, heads bowed, as a chaplain arrived. Silence. The deputy chief says Jenks is a father and a grandfather. Just as the loving, smiling guy that he was, and as helpful as he was, he lent, he, he enjoyed what he did, and he did it right up to the end. The deputy chief asking for prayers for Jenks' family tonight. The cause of his death is still being investigated. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, I'll tell you more about the man and his impact on this community. Reporting live in Pasco, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. Tonight, the town of Boroughville is remembering a veteran firefighter. We learn the name of the firefighter this afternoon. He's 72-year-old Richard Jenks, a lieutenant with the Pasco Volunteer Fire Department. Jenks collapsed at the scene of a chimney fire this morning. We saw firefighters join together in prayer shortly after Lieutenant Jenks was rushed to the hospital where he tragically died. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live from the Pasco Fire Station in Burroughville. Steve. Well, as you can imagine, it has been an emotional day here at the Pasco Fire Department as I step aside here and you can see through these live pictures a moment right now of first responders gathered together at the fire department. It looks like they've gathered bunting that they're just about to hang over the Pasco Fire Department letters. This has been um, an emotional time for them today. I have seen them embrace each other, hug each other and share stories. Hours after Lieutenant Richard Jenks' death, his fellow Pasco firefighters stood shoulder to shoulder to tell us about the 72-year-old. Ain't a call that I can't remember, a rescue call, that that man wasn't on it. Um, anything you needed. He was just always smiling. Um, he, he, he was a good friend. Jenks rushed to this chimney fire Wednesday morning. The deputy chief says he tripped inside and was taken out. His last request before collapsing was to go back in. He fought with the safety officer. That's how Richard was. You know, no, this is the way I'm going to go. I'm here to put the fire out. That is what I'm going to do. I ain't going anywhere else. And then at 9 o'clock, he did collapse. After CPR, he died at the hospital. Our cameras captured firefighters, helmets off, heads bowed after they got word. The deputy chief at the scene asked for prayers. Prayers. Everybody, please give us their prayers. Jenks is the first line of duty death for the Pasco Fire Department. The man never stopped. Never. Seven days a week. Never stopped. No matter what it was, what you needed. Moments ago, a horn blared three times at the Pasco Fire Department here. Of course, Jenks served 32 years as a volunteer fire, volunteer fire department here at the Pasco Fire Department. The medical examiner is now investigating his death. Reporting live in Pasco, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.